Hi, I'm Jez Pez and I'm the editor of Dude Magazine and I actually live in Melbourne, in Victoria, Australia. But the message I'm trying to send today is with regard to um, <clears throat> Queensland and uh, essentially how the Health Minister and the Premier are going to defund the Queensland Association for Healthy Communities, which is an organisation that has been around for many years, dedicated um, to working uh, with the GLBTIQ community in Queensland and they're going to be defunded of $2.6 million. Uh, effectively about 26 out of 31 staff members are going to lose their job. Some of the people that I know there I have worked with. <clears throat> um, without any sort of structured plan as to how they'll address all of that intelligence, all of those networks, um, just essentially going down the drain. And uh, I, I really think that the wider community needs to be aware of this. Um, it's like Queensland is going backwards. It's a huge um, move for the state government. It's, it's completely homophobic. Um, and I urge the Premier and the Health Minister to re-look at the facts. Um, you're saying that Queensland Association for Healthy Communities um, $2.6 million is not an effective use of, of money. Um, but how much does it cost when someone unfortunately has contracted HIV? How much does it cost then to, to provide health services for people? Um, I'm, you know, I think I don't have the facts in front of me, but I think it costs more than $2.6 million per year to manage that. And the message that you're sending is totally homophobic. It's disempowering the the GLBTIQ community in Queensland. Um, and when that happens, people are going to engage in riskier behaviour. Uh, I've been to Brisbane. I've I've worked with Quark and health, Healthy Communities. They've supported Dude Magazine. And I ran a workshop in Brisbane where people came from the Gold Coast, from the Sunshine Coast from rural areas, you know, to, to meet me and meet each other and to talk about what was important in their lives. And the connect, connections and contacts were established and that improved um, the well-being of the community. Um, and this action to remove the funding and disassociate important um, people from the community and and take away the tools that they have is is going to send a message to, to everyone that their lives and their health and their well-being is is not a priority um, that GLBTIQ people are already um, marginalized and this is going to marginalize people even further so I question your intentions and your motives and your underlying agenda um, by defunding healthy communities um, and everyone is watching this so I would please uh, write a letter um, there's a rally today in, in Brisbane I think um, but please write a letter send an email tell people that you know look into this online um, they're on Facebook they're, they're on, on they've got a website so Queensland Association for Healthy Communities, please try and save them. Thanks.